Thanks for the introduction. It's uh, Marco D'Angelo, CEO of CUDA, the Canadian uh, Urban Transit Association. Thank you so much for uh, for putting this panel together at such an important time uh, where we see that uh, riders are returning to transit uh, across our province. But we also see, as you noted off the top, uh, the size of the operating uh, shortfall for this year. And uh, we're advocating uh, with the province to find a way uh, to help to close that gap because certainly uh, reducing service uh, is not something uh, that will bring riders back and uh, not um, increase uh, the modal shift that we need to get to to meet our climate targets and other things. Other provinces have met that challenge. Uh, Quebec is currently um, uh, plugging deficit holes at their major systems and looking at a five-year plan. British Columbia has done that for two years. Manitoba is uh, also being supportive. So, you know, Ontario is building a, a lot of uh, great projects, um, but they will have an increased cost uh, to operate, as you rightly note. And uh, it is beyond the means of the tools that are available to municipalities alone uh, to operate those. So I think it is this is an important time to have that discussion about financing and, and, and the other issues. Marco, can I ask you one more question here? Is, is sure. one of the things that we should be focused on, are governments more willing and do they want to focus on, you know, funding new sexy lines as opposed to what might be needed? You know, you, I think you mentioned some of them there. Vehicle maintenance, driver salaries, these sorts of more boring, bland things. Is, is that one of the issues here? Well, I mean, tr transit is a blend of, of building, maintaining, and, and serving the public. And, uh, and, we, and they're not necessarily in that order, but they all are equally important because uh, without each of those pillars... Uh, we're not meeting the needs uh, of uh, commuters across Canada. And uh, so they need uh, to have timely transit built. We're looking at increasing Ontario's population to over 20 million people from around 15 today uh, within the next 25 years. That is not going to be done through building wider roads. It will be done through transit and higher order transit and ensuring that the municipal systems that are operating it are not in an operational bankrupt phase uh, where they're not able to use all the great capital that's being built. We need to make sure that the service is there for the people that we're building it for.